Hey guys, what is going on? Look here, basically bringing you a quick video on applications in Windows 8. Now this video isn't anything special, it's just showing you what the top 5 applications I've been using and I may think you may enjoy when you start using a Windows 8 computer. Now one of these applications in particular is only for a desktop computer, it won't work in your tablet or your iPhone or anything else that uses Windows 8. So yeah, that may not be for you. But enjoy the other 4. So without further ado, here's my top 5 applications for Windows 8 if you're just getting started. LastPass, a password application that basically allows you to keep tabs on what passwords you're using what websites or other things like programs and basically allows you to categorize them, give them notes and that's pretty much it. It's very simple to add a site or whatever, you just simply put in the name of the site, the group name you want it to be under in the application, the URL, the username and the password and just add a note just in case you want to remind yourself of something. It also has certain features like favorite, auto login, never autofill, and require password reprompts, and uses a Microsoft account as well, just in case you can't access your own personal computer. You can download the application on any Windows 8 device and pretty much sign in there, and you have your passwords ready to go. It also has its own built in browser. We can also use the autofill uh, feature there, but the browser is painfully basic, and I would not suggest using it. I would just suggest using the copy paste method where you can simply right click the option, click copy to my clipboard and there you are, you're ready to go. Nonetheless, it's a very useful application and I would XE Currency Converter, doing pretty much what converters do, converts one currency into another and it's very useful if you're doing say maths that requires you to convert one currency to another or you just want to do some online shopping for example on Amazon where it requires you to, well, buy stuff. But of course Amazon isn't really so useful as it doesn't really have a euro option so XE is very useful where you can just drag it into the side of your screen, input a price of anything in British pounds sterling and get it back in euros. For example, let's draw in the price of this laptop and we can see the laptop is 487 euro. Very easy, very simple. So it's also very easy if you want to just throw it up there and want to search for something else. For example, Wii U, and you can just jot in the price during your search results. You don't have to necessarily swap through tabs or windows just to see the price of it. Now, XE is also very useful if you're, say, a stockbroker on some kind of business. It has every single currency available in the world in its current database and often frequently updates it. For example, you can see it there, updated on the 7th of September, just to change the values because, as we know, money always changes. So it's always useful to have a very accurate currency converter. XE is very useful to use if you just want to use everyday tasks, for example, shopping, the very core of things for business. Google, made by Google to pretty much Google things. Google is very easy to use, it's just pretty much a Google search engine, but it also has a few kinks that are very nice to it. For example, if I search for Coca-Cola, it will actually see how many sites I clicked on due to my search, it will archive those searches in my history, and will also give me options like finding stuff on the page, open new tabs, and also has stuff like voice recognition for searches as well. It also has other things like the Google applications that are YouTube, Drive, Maps, and other things. So it is very easy to use, and it's just getting into the basic thing of, well, Googling things. You may wonder what's the point of using it when you could just use Chrome or use the Chrome app for Windows 8. There isn't really how much of a difference, but if you want to Google things, the application is very easy to use, boots up really quickly, and you're ready to go. Tune in. TuneIn is a very simple radio application that goes a long way due to its simplicity and is a must have between any music or application enthusiast. TuneIn's simple design allows it to slide easily into the side of Windows 8 and give you an on screen radio allowing you to browse through your favourite radio stations, podcasts or anything else that has any use on TuneIn. Whether you be working, using an application, playing a game or just wanting to pass some time listening to your favorite stations, TuneIn allows you to easily navigate through these all, as well as look for new radio stations you may not be able to access outside of your state, your country, or just even your area. TuneIn has a vast resource of having nearly every single radio station available on the globe, as well as other podcasts, an easy layout for getting through certain sections like news, sports, and music, as well as podcasts, and also having just a vast array of other stuff to choose from. Start a classic, bringing back the one thing people who use Windows 8 may miss most, your start menu. Though there are many apps out there that allow you to bring back your start menu, classic start date seems to be the best option. With one con being you have to go to the actual website to download and install, not from the actual store, it still comes around with the biggest prime of all, that it's free. 
some apps out there that do bring back the start menu do have a good charge of maybe five dollars to ten dollars even fifteen dollars for a professional version whereas all you want is a simple start menu without all the classic fancy swag that's brought with it in the other applications if you want to get a start menu classic start date seems to be the best option and that is pretty much it for our video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it means a lot to me. Nearly at 500 subs, so it will be very awesome when I hit the 500. Uh, if you have any questions about Windows 8 or any applications or just anything in general, hit me up in the comments or on Twitter at Lucky Gunslinger. I'm usually always on Twitter or on YouTube, so when I see your comment, I'm usually always sure to reply. If not, with a bit of a delay since the new YouTube layout is pretty shitty and I can't really see my inbox. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, good luck, and I hope you enjoy your new applications with Windows 8.